What's up, welders? Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Welding. I'm Paul. Thanks for joining me. It is uh, 2.31 in the morning. I can't sleep, so I figured we'd uh, pop up another episode and see what we can do. Today we're going to be talking about welding's other cousin, soldering. So the first thing you want to make sure you've got is a nice little soldering gun. This is just a little 30 amp soldering gun. We're going to be using some pretty thin wire. So this will work out just fine. You also want to have a damp sponge to keep your soldering iron clean. Some sort of wire strippers. I like these kind. I think these ones are junk. And then there's also these automatic jobs, which I don't really care for. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tin our wires, which means we are going to coat them with solder because solder flows where solder has been. So we're using a nice 60-40 mix of solder. We add a little bit to the iron to help conduct the heat. We touch the iron to the back of the wire. We touch the solder to the front of the wire and just like that through capillary action the molten solder is pull, pulled into the wire. It's got a little blobber on it. Biggie. And the wire is tin. Do that again to this one. And you can see how quickly this happens. If it takes more than a second or two to tin your wires, you don't have enough heat. You should be able to get in and get out in a second or two. Now that we have two wires that are tin, if we wanted to join them, it becomes a very simple matter. All right, so to join our wires, we're just going to add a little bit of solder just like that, like we do to conduct the heat. And since it's already had solder on it, the solder is going to flow between them quite nicely. And when we unclip it, <laughs> got a little solder in our alligator clip there, but you can see once we unclip it, everything is nicely soldered together, a little electrical tape, a little liquid rubber, you're good to go. Our next project is going to be adding some wire to this trigger. So the first thing we want to do is tin up these solder pads real nice. Is, remember what I told you, solder flows where solder has been. solder on there. Okay, those are all nice and tinned up. Now we have our three different wires and you can see I've already tinned them up out of the way for you. Now the way I like to do this is we just add a little solder to the bottom. Once we get the flow, we touch them. We just need to hold it in place for a few seconds until it solidifies. Now, you can also do this from the top. 
you don't want to put your soldering iron over the wire but you can melt your solder here just like that boom boom and our last one I'll do it the same way so we'll just melt our wire here And the reason you don't want to put your soldering iron on top is when you pull it away, you're going to leave yourself a nice little blob. And we're trying to keep everything as flat as possible. So there you see we've got three nice solder joints. And everything is looking pretty good. All right, I've also got this little circuit board. I'm going to show you how to do a little circuit board solder to it. You see we have this hole here. We're going to place the wire through the hole. Just kind of like that. And I like to bend it over a little bit so that it wants to stay in place. Add a little bit of solder. What you want to make sure here is that when you flip this thing over, and you can see right there very nicely that the solder has penetrated all the way through the circuit board. So that's it for this episode of Adventures in Welding. I hope you learned a little bit about soldering. It's pretty easy. No matter what you're going to get involved in in your life, making any kind of uh, electrical repairs or anything like that, a little bit of soldering knowledge never helps. And hey, it's kind of related to welding. So, get the hell out of my kitchen. I got to go to work in a couple of hours. <laughs>